the cows in here and we're suicided. They're babies, not mummies or daddies. Dada! Is the cows in here? Socks out. I hear you. You're gonna have to go for this. This is blind, right? Come on, Macaros. Don't go to the next one. No. Come on, Macaros. So we brought home six veal calves from the auction block today. They were there to be sold to the slaughterhouse buyers to be slaughtered. We were able to bring home six of them. They were six of the weakest and the sickest. They are emaciated. They are grossly underweight. They are dehydrated. They have pneumonia. They have pink eye. They have a skin fungus. They are very, very, very sick. One of them is blind, and one of them was so weak that we had to carry her into the trailer. We are here with our vet, and she's organizing medications and um, hydration for them. And we're really, really hoping, and we're going to do all that we can, that they can make it. The next 24 hours is going to be crucial. We'll be down here. They'll be monitored around the clock. We're going to give them tons of nurturing, safety, clean water, good food, high doses of meds and see if we can bring down their fevers, get them over their pneumonia and get them healthy. Once they're healthy and strong and put on some weight, then we're going to have the second task of being able to rehabilitate their hearts and minds because they have decided that people are not to be trusted and that this world is cruel. So once they're healthy, we're going to set to the task of spending time with them surrounding them with love and kindness and showing them that the world can be a nice place and that there are people who can be kind. Sorry, the one that weakest. This is the weakest one. She's got the highest temperature, she's the thinnest, um, and she's so despondent right now that she won't even eat. And we're gonna get a feeding tube down in her to see if we can fill her stomach. We're gonna get medication in her to bring down the fever and the infection and we're really going to hope and pray that we can get her through the night. If she makes it, she'll be promised the land of milk and honey here at the Gentle Barn, where the rest of her life will be filled with fresh food, clean water, kindness, love, and comfort for the rest of her life. We hope that the trauma that she's been through hasn't been so bad that she can't make it now to a place where she can be happy. We're hoping she can make it.
where I drank from as a child When I was young, I was bold and I was wild But since then, well I have grown into a man And I know I can always stand